right guys, so this is going to be a 4 Glory video using Duck Hunt Dog. And for those of you who know anything about my uh, my stream, when I say I'm going to like do something quick or I'm going to end it or go to sleep, it's never actually quick and I never end it and I never go to sleep. But um, but yeah, because I already recorded, um, for those of you who don't know, I recorded this video and it was close to 40 minutes long of me using Duck Hunt Dog because the matches were so slow. People would not approach me. They would go to time almost every time. So I'm probably not going to play that long for this one because, yeah, it's uh, it takes a really long time. And the video file got corrupted. That's why I'm not using that recording of the Duck Hunt Dog for Glory video. So hopefully I can provide the same insight that I did last time. Um... And if you guys would like, I'd be more than happy to actually upload, um, to upload my Duck Hunt Dog uh, for Glory, the one that got corrupted. The video still plays, but it's almost unwatchable due to the frame rate. So if you guys want, I can upload it as a private video and put the link in the description for those of you who are really interested in learning more about Duck Hunt Dog. Um, I know that's not everybody, but alright, so Fox. Let's see how this matchup's gonna go. I know he can reflect my my stuff, so I'm gonna make him reflect and I'm gonna go in on him. Down throw, no air dodge. All right, so this guy is jumping. What what I do with Duck Hunt Dog so far is I see what they do after I down throw them. If they air dodge, then that's when I uh. Ooh, okay. If they air dodge to the ground, I start charging forward smash when I get the grab. And if they jump, that's when I start chasing them in the air with up air. Nice. This is going to hurt. Alright, let's see if I can throw... Oh, almost threw the can at him. So yeah, Duck Hunt Dog's setups are not easy. And he's not an easy character to use, as, as you can see me even struggling against this Fox player. He's just doing a very good job, but see that's what I mean. The matches they all take so long when when I'm using Duck Hunt Dog because people just do not fight. They just kind of camp the whole time, which I guess I guess works, but I don't know. They should be trying to figure out how to get in on me versus sitting back because I'm not the kind of player who sits back all day. If you have the patience for it, then by all means do it, but that's not my playstyle personally. Oops. See, so what I feel like with Duck Hunt Dog is that there's so much to keep track of that that's when I start... Oh, there we go. Up air is going to take it. There's so much to keep track of, like the can or, you know, the enemy, the dude, my opponent, me. Oh, that was interesting. Oh, so I read the jump there, but I did not capitalize off of it. Read the jump, neutral air. Ooh, no up tilt for me. Oh man, that should have worked. That was a very clean up smash. I liked it. Alright. He should be grabbing me way more. I think that, that'll definitely play to his advantage. Jump. Can. Ooh, okay. He hung on to the ledge a little too long there. But I can see this being maybe a bad matchup for Duck Hunt. Ooh, just as I say that. Whoa, so Fox's uh, up B actually negates the can. Good grab. There we go. He must have heard me. All right. Huh. So yeah, this it doesn't look as uh, neat as a lot of my other gameplay with some of the other characters because as I said... Duck Hunt is a strange character to uh, to play as for me personally, and probably for you too. He, as I said, he's very setup oriented. He's not easy to use, um, or actually to, to do well with. I feel he's pretty straightforward. But hmm. all right, so that was game one, and that was about three minutes or so. So I'm gonna play another game with A with Aaron or A A Run, <laughs> however he wants to pronounce his name. 
And let's see how this match goes. So yeah, disc into grab definitely works. And hopefully the quality is okay for you guys. Please uh, let me know what you think. Alright, let's see if I can catch him with it. Yes, it worked! So yeah, these little gimmicks and tricks, I guess they're pretty cool. But I feel like I could be using the character way better. I don't, you know. That crossed me up. And I get the jabs on him. He's gonna jump into my- oh. I should have shield grabbed that. And remember, it only goes half the distance, so what I'm doing is I'm covering the air with discs, and I'm, I'm covering the ground with, with these guys. Oh, is he going to come back? Oh, that was late on my part. I could have done that a little bit better. But yeah, see, people tend to just... Ooh, I, wow, that was really nice recovery. People tend to just run away from Duck Hunt Dogs, so it makes things very difficult in general. And this is how all the matches went uh, when I was playing on 4 Glory last time, which was last night. So hopefully I can figure some things out to make things a little more easier. For me. There we go, he, air he had to air dodge the can, so I was able to meet him with an up smash when he landed. And that's how you should be playing Duck Hunt Dog. Unfortunately, I don't know how to do that every time, but hopefully it can give you an idea as to uh, how to do that a little bit better. And I guess he's maybe annoyed or something. So yeah, I don't know what happened there. Maybe he got fed up like, stupid dog? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah guys, if you like, I can upload uh, the first Duck Hunt Dog for Glory video as a private video, so maybe you guys can listen to my commentary there and take some things from it. But definitely I like to stick to the disc um, for the most part. I like to set up the can and then run on the opposite side of them so that I can have the can coming back to like help me out basically or to follow up off my grabs. Because if the can is on your side people can just like hit it back into you. Um, so I feel like putting out the can and then going on this side of them assuming you know they're not just hanging at the at the edge the entire match oh Rosalina okay so I played against a Rosalina last time when I did this and someone told me that Rosalina's gravity does not work against Duck Hunt Dog's projectiles which is a complete lie I don't know who would say such a thing but they did and it was not true gravity does work Wow, he Alright, so Rosalina has the ability to nearly break your shield with her jabs, which is pretty crazy because her jab is super safe. Wow, Duck Hunt Dog doesn't seem to be able to punish that with his grab. I was trying to. Alright, so what I'm what my intention is is to uh make him use gravity so then I can run in and hopefully dan yeah. Wow, Duck Hunt Dog cannot grab Rosalina. I'm not really sure what I can do to punish her on the ground. Oh man, I just missed that. Oh, good job covering my roll. Not gonna let you up. Yeah, this is a weird matchup. Alright, doing the, the 1 2 3. That's fine. Come on, can. Yes. And she was very high above the screen. So, let's see what I can do. I know Rosalina... Ooh, hitting me with the neutral air. The Luma part of that is the strongest part. Let's see if I can get the kill. Oh my god, really? How did that miss? I don't even know how that missed. What I'm going to do is force him into using gravity. Wow. Why? Why did... Send me so far at 5%. I want to force him into using gravity so I can hit him. That's the strategy you want to employ when you're fighting Rosalina. And, ooh, the can saved him. Oh, I should have done the trick. 
Alright, so he's just hanging back because he wants to wait for Luma to return. So I'm going to... Oh, he's going to use gravity. Boom. <laughs> See, Rosalina has a predictable up B. So that's where Duck Hunt Dog can actually do well. You can just put the can in the line of her, uh, of her recovery. And it's so funny that the two times I use Duck Hunt Dog, I encounter a Rosalina. That is interesting. Wow, that didn't hurt her? That's weird. Oh wow, and Neutral Air just completely negates... It seems negates the can altogether. And this matchup, you cannot really go into, like, bl oh, it's gonna keep jabbing me. <clears throat> you cannot really go into this matchup, like, rush down, because Duck on Dog is not that kind of character, but neither is Rosalina, so that's why this matchup's so slow. I feel like any matchup with Duck on Dog is gonna be pretty slow, for the most part. Down throw, up air, that works. Oh, nice attempt at a dash attack there. Oh, we both exploded with the can and I was able to follow up with an up air at the last moment. That was a good game. Okay. Alright, I'm learning. Slowly but surely. That was actually really nice. Okay, so... Since these matches are taking so long, I might play another one with Iron Kraken. I'll just play maybe two or three more matches. As I said, the video prior to this was 40 minutes long. It was like 36 minutes or something ridiculous like that. Because I played like six matches, six or seven matches, and they all almost went to time because I couldn't kill my opponent, and they would not approach me at all. They would just stay away the entire game. So, same strategy. I want her to use gravity. And when she uses gravity, that's when I'll go in. But yeah, definitely you want to harass with these discs. And then use your, your good... Oh, man. That neutral air stuffed me. Gravity? Yep. Oh, but I didn't get the hit. I was actually too slow there. Ooh, and there goes short hop down air, which is one of my favorite. It's actually lagless. You can do it pretty quickly if you just keep it up. Boom. See, I'm taking the trades here. What? The can hit me. Okay. Oh man, shield poke. I did not let go of my shield, but Rosalina has such a good jab that he was kind of just able to keep jabbing me. And it poked my shield up. Oh. Display is getting dim, it seems. Wow. Jab, jab, jab. Very hard to punish Rosalina with Duck on Dog. Very difficult. Wow. So... And she angled that up. That was a very good forward smash. Angled up to punish me. But yeah, I can see this being a really tough matchup for Duck Hunt Dog. Like, extremely hard. And there goes the battle. I mean, not the battle, sorry, the stock. I wish the battle I would have won that. Yeah, because Duck Hunt Dog doesn't have many options. Rosalina covers everything. Look at that. With neutral air, she just hops over. Luma's in my way. I, I don't have the normals, meaning tilt and jabs, to like beat her out. Because Luma is just too strong. That's not going to work. So, once again, this matchup is another patient, very patiently fought battle. And I'm going to have to just accept that. And play by... See? Forward Smash doesn't even hit Luma, it seems. It's so strange. But yeah, I can see this matchup being horrible. Yeah, see, I, I can't. I'm trying to get her to use gravity so I can get the hit. But... Just her... Even her jabs just stop my uh my approaches 
And now he doesn't have Luma, so his Rosalina is going to be not a sitting duck, <laughs> get it, but not as potent as she could be. Wow, the gravity finished, and come on, are you serious? Just mashing A and it, it killed me at 80 something? That was ridiculous. That was insane. Oh, you don't know how bad I just want to use another character right now just to... <laughs> ah, the salt. There's another salty addition. Maybe I can play a little bit smarter, I don't know. Um, but I just feel like Duck Hunt Dog doesn't have all the op- Like, his grab range is not that good. So Rosalina is able to attack me using neutral air, jabs, and I can't do anything about it. When he throws the frisbee, he kind of has to pull his head back for a moment. So I'm not quite sure what I could be doing better. Um, this is actually one of the first few times I'm actually stumped as towards like, hmm, this matchup is really difficult. What do I do? Jab, jab, jab. Okay. Maybe if I play play a more aggressive role, it might be able to work in my favor. Could not jump because the jabs are too powerful. Yeah, the jabs are too good. I feel like I have to bait her into using gravity extremely, meaning... Huh. That's, that's really dumb. Alright, dash attack. Not gonna kill Luma either, though. The lag also doesn't help. But yeah, I think it's silly that... Jabs for days. He's probably gonna jab me. No. Good block. Could have hit me. Nice job landing away from me, knowing that uh, I have the potential to kill. Ooh, up tilt did come through for me. So what I'm doing is, ah, uh, I'm making him run out of space, basically. But it's just really silly to me that almost all the moves beat my can and beat everything else that Duck Hunt Dog has as an option. Couldn't even punish that. Can't punish the up smash because Duck Hunt Dog doesn't have the range. Ooh, the can actually saved me there. That forward smash should have killed me. But it didn't because... Good grab. We both walked up and shielded. Let's see how he's going to attempt to kill me. Maybe a forward smash. He's waiting for Luma to come back, so he's not committing to anything at all. Come on, don't die, dog. And that was very hard to react to, especially online. But I do get the up air predicting the jump almost immediately. So now that things are even, let's see if I can somehow pull a lead here. Nice dash attack. Yeah, this is terrible. I guess I should just be aware of Rosalina's neutral air um, when he comes in with it, because that seems to be his main approach tool. So if I can just, I guess, be more conscious of it and force him to do it. Ooh, I read the jump, but a little too late. So I'm going to stick to using these discs, and I want to stay at mid-range against this guy. And beat out his approaches. See, now that I can see what, what he's doing, it's a little easier. Nice get-up attack.
And I think I know Iron Kraken. I feel like he's been in my streams a couple of times already. But yeah, as I said, this is going to be a slow match. And we might even go to time. Because it's just so hard to do anything against Rosalina. As Duckland, I have no tools to approach. And Rosalina has so many. If I, if I use any of my smashes, I get punished for that. And he's doing the smart thing. Wow, I couldn't punish that landing, even though I read it. Yep, we're going to go to time, man, because this is just ridiculous. It's not even a matter of... Wow, and I, I don't know what that was. That was a... a a desperate last measure. But if this was a tournament, I had 70 something percent and he was at 101. So if this was a real tournament match, I would have won the match um, due to lower percentage than my opponent. But unfortunately, we're playing for glory and this is just. And this is just the nature of the matchup and the nature of using Duck Hunt Dog. Honestly, guys, if you're having trouble using Duck Hunt Dog and, you know, you find yourself losing a lot of matches, your matches are probably going to just take very long. You might not be taking your time as much as you should be taking your time because Duck Hunt Dog just doesn't have all the tools to deal with certain characters. So definitely, if you're maining Duck Hunt, Hunt Dog, you want a secondary, like, seriously. A secondary is probably necessary for you to main this character, like, if you're going to be maining him. And I'm approaching way too much. See? I approach, I get beat. Even when I don't approach, I lose. I lose most of the exchanges. I have to just sit here and do... Wow. Neutral air. I did not tech it. Am I dead? No, not yet. guy's being very difficult to grab also which is a good thing he should be landing away from from duck hunt dog I'm gonna shield luma oh man i could have punished that second grab attempt on the ledge nice ducking just dashing under my disc he just immediately recognized when i didn't do the uh the low disc i did the high disc or jumping disc rather. Yeah, I can't even get forward smashes off. That that's the problem here, that I cannot kill him. And the disc throwing animation, look how long it takes before I can put up my shield. It's longer than it seems. So Wow, so Luma hit me with the second hit. This is not easy, guys. Not in the slightest. So what I'm doing there is I'm covering his jump option. Oof. And there we go. That covered the roll. Using forward smash and down smash at the ledge is a good way to cover the roll options from like on, back onto the stage from the ledge. And I'm crossing him up with neutral air. I'm making sure that when I land with neutral air, I'm appearing on... Really? Come on. Alright, this is ridiculous. I cannot punish this guy. And I know I'm sounding super salty, but this is a very frustrating matchup. Like, Duck Hunt Dog can't do anything, and it's so annoying. No matter how hard I try, Duck Hunt Dog just cannot win this. Unless it goes to time. That's the only way I can see Duck Hunt Dog winning the match. Rosalina is just a, a way better character than Duck Hunt Dog, or just she counterpicks him. That that's the thing. <laughs> so 
So, yeah, if this match is going to go to time, then so be it. But I don't want to lose this. Yeah, see, neutral air just covers everything completely. Well, that's cool. Can actually kills Luma. Wow. Oh, he didn't do his recovery vertically enough. I guess because he was trying to avoid the can and ended up falling short there. Huh. I mean, uh, I didn't want to take that win, honestly. I wish it would have ended differently, either him beating me or me beating him, even though I would have been frustrated. Um, but I'm going to go find some, another character to fight against. Hopefully that explains the matchup enough. Duck Hunt Dog cannot use his can or his disc. And if you do, you have to be very ready for what she's going to do after gravity, because she has almost no lag, honestly. So... She's able to do gravity, and then when you come in, because you're baiting her to use gravity, she'll just jab you, or down smash, or because she's so fast. So, Rosalina versus Duck Hunt is very difficult. If you're maining Duck Hunt Dog, find a secondary, please. Someone who can deal with Rosalina. Oh, okay. Raw Shadow Sneak to dash attack. Down throw. Air dodge? No air dodge. Down air. Okay. So we have down air. And he's jump Greninja's jumping very high, so I can't actually follow up with uh That was a cool combo, okay. See Greninja jumps so high up that even if I want to use um up air after the down throw, I can't. Greninja's jump Takes him so high up. Oh man, didn't have enough. Ooh, okay. Back throw, can. That was a nice shadow sneak. And that's going to be the kill. He maybe thought he was landing on stage or was going to land on top of me. Nice. Definitely want to stay grounded against Greninja. You don't want to uh, be in the air because that's when he starts messing you up. Oh, man. And that was another quick match. I couldn't really showcase anything. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have another one real quick. And this is probably... I don't know, considered a salty edition, just like my Falco video. Certain characters, I just, you know, even if I lose, it's fine, but certain matchups are just very frustrating as well. And then I, that's when the salt starts coming out, when I don't understand something. Not, and also Wi-Fi, but not necessarily for other reasons. <laughs> Man. Okay, this should be interesting. Oh, Bowser is definitely a character I can keep away pretty well. At least I think. Oh, man. So, yeah, the exp Oof. Yeah, Bowser's rushing me down, so I need to find space to kind of get away from him. And I see that he's having... Oh, my gosh. So that completely... Wow, am I dead? No. So this guy is just going all out with all the smashes. Kind of just attacking at every moment. And this isn't the first Bowser we've encountered like this. Oh, see, see that? So I was able to use the can to make him recover high. And then when he did... Oh man, I should have let it fall, but that is going to be his stock. When he did recover high, I was able to then punish him. Wow. Okay. So another thing to note is that Duck Hunt Dog's animations of him throwing the disc and setting up the guy um, take a long time. It's not a quick thing. So 
For example, if someone like Bowser is just rushing you down, you don't have too much time to set all this stuff up. Yeah, he's just getting inside me. With rolls and with other attacks. Jump, down B. And I'm getting hit by it. But that works. Let's see if I can start gimping him offstage back throw. Oh, he didn't recover high. He recovered low. Oop! If that was a down B, I might have died. I don't know Duck Hunt Dog's weight. I don't think he's heavy, but I know he's not light. Oops. Ah, oh, just barely missed it. And now Bowser has Rage, so at this point, if I fall into any forward smash, I'm dead. But hopefully I can set up the Gimp. Oh, he's going high. Even a, maybe a, a back air could kill me. And there we go, I'm setting up the trap. I'm setting it up high. Oh, there we go. So, in any case guys, this one still did end up being over 30 minutes. Um, hopefully you guys learned something from it and not just me complaining about Rosalina the whole time. But, uh, yeah, it was not easy. Um, Duck and Doug's not an easy character to learn or to master. So hopefully you guys who are maining him are putting in the time and effort to do that. And maybe you can do things a little better than I did. Um, if you have any tips for me and my Duck and Dog play, please leave it in the comments because I'm curious to see as to what I could have done better. Um, I don't main Duck Hunt Dog and I don't claim to, you know, be a pro with every character. I make mistakes too. So let me know what you think. Um, give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If not, that's fine too. Um, so I will catch you guys next time. Thank you so much. Later.